everyone, I'm Sophia with Awaken Catholic and this is Awaken the Saint. Today we celebrate Blessed Francisca de Paula de Jesus, a girl who was born with less than nothing and still ended up being a loving mother to the poor. Francisca was born in southeastern Brazil around 1810. In that time, the Portuguese controlled Brazil and used slave labor for mining and other ventures. Francisca and her mother were both slaves and didn't know how to read or write, but that didn't stop her mom from teaching her prayers and bringing her up in the faith. Francisca was still a girl when around 1820, she and her mother gained their freedom, just a few years before Brazil became independent from Portugal. Regrettably, Francisca's mother wouldn't be able to enjoy her newfound freedom for long. She died mere months after moving further south with her young daughter. On her deathbed, she asked Francisca to dedicate her life to the faith and do whatever she could to help the poor. Honoring her mother's dying wish, Francisca chose to live alone so she could focus on her faith. She was offered the chance to live with her brother, who was rather well off, but she declined. She also turned down every chance to marry, but she was never harsh about it. She always expressed appreciation for the offers made to her. Francisca didn't live a life of solitude. She hosted regular prayer meetings with her neighbors, provided food for the poor on a weekly basis, and readily gave what she had to those in need. Her door was always open to those who needed her help or consolation, and as she grew older, people began to call her Naya Chica, a term of affection that translates roughly to Aunt Francie. Francisca had a particularly strong attachment to the Blessed Virgin Mary and openly spoke of the fact that she conversed often. In one of these conversations, Mary asked her to build a chapel in her honor. Of course, Francisca didn't have the skills or resources necessary to build this chapel, so it was impossible, or at least it was, until her brother passed away in 1862 and named her his sole heir. Suddenly, the owner of a considerable inheritance, Francisca could not only build the chapel, she could also expand her charity efforts towards those who struggled to get by. In 1888, Francisca decided it was time for her to pass along everything that God had so graciously given to her. She wrote her will, in which she designated all that she owned would be used for the benefit of the poor, or left to her parish. In June of 1895, Francisca died in her chapel and was later entombed there. She was named Venerable in 2011 and following a miraculous healing after her death, was beatified in 2013. We're grateful when God gives us many gifts, but going without isn't necessarily a curse. When she was born, Francisca had no father, no freedom, and no expectation of being anything more than a slave. Through her upbringing, she came to realize that if you just strive after material wealth, it'll never become more than just a pile of stuff. She freely gave away almost everything she had, but the greatest gift she shared, and the one thing she held on until the end, was her faith. Niashika, pray for us.